Hi folks, hope you're doing all well. Just quickly wanted to talk about uh, the new package which is going to be soon available on Automation Anywhere Bot Store. Uh, this package is meant for version 8.2019 and the package is JSON Deserializer. So as the name suggests, what this package does is accept uh, uh, as an input a JSON file or a JSON string. Now the beauty of this package is uh, that uh, the JSON can be as complex as you want and it can have any level of nesting and there is no requirement for this package to understand or know what the JSON structure looks like. So once you have provided any valid JSON file, uh, it can perform four different types of actions. So now these actions are listed here. The first one is uh, deflatten, basically the flatten the JSON file into a dictionary object. That means we will have a key value pair. And the second, uh, which I personally find more useful, is uh, converting a JSON file into a, a two-dimensional table structure, wherein the the, uh, the table has the header, so uh, which allows us to use uh, the table in any further processing and it can, uh, uh, you know, the values are easily retrieved and stored and well presented. Now, in the situation when we only need to just fetch a single value of a node or a key from a JSON, that's when retrieve a value action comes handy. Now, in a situation when a JSON is more complex, it contains array type of object. Uh, that's when retrieve values action would really come handy because what it does is that it creates a list of type variable. That means we can iterate through that list and fetch all the values. Now, just to quickly demonstrate uh, this board, uh, I have uh, a task board created. What it does basically is uh, reads a JSON file. So in this step, uh, what I'm doing is I'm assigning a complicated JSON file. As you can see, it's a quite complex JSON and it comes from BMC Remedy. Now, once the JSON is uh, assigned to a JSON string, the next step is basically to convert uh, the JSON into a table file. So it accepts JSON and then it uh, outputs a table a type variable. Now, what I've, I'm doing with this table variable is basically writing it into a file. Now, once it is written into Excel file, it is easy to basically, you know, display it or to use it. Uh, the second, the third action uh, is to convert it into a dictionary object. So similar thing, it accepts a JSON as a string, or if you wish, you can, you know, supply a JSON file and then basically create a dictionary object. And then this can be written back into a log file over here. Uh, the Another one is retrieve a single value, similar thing, accept the JSON file and specify the, the column uh, value. So, it, you know, one has to be wary of what level of nesting it is uh, and then specify the column index, uh, the sorry, row index, and that will present us one single value. And in case uh, JSON consists an array, then you know uh, the, it works on the similar principle as you retrieve a single value. The only difference here is that we select uh, multiple rows, and this would result in, uh, in the, you know uh, a list object being created. Let's quickly have a play of this file and see how does it go. And that's the key value displayed. And there we have it. So if I quickly look into uh, uh, the file which has been created. This is the Excel file which we created. So that's how our JSON has been flattened. Now these are all the key values and um, yeah, that's pretty much the functionality of this. I think the real power of this package really lies, you know, in flattening it into uh, a table and then we can use all table type 
data table uh, actions you know you know fetching a value for a key and you know processing it through a records uh, yeah so th that's all uh, I really wanted to talk about if you have any questions uh, you know you wish uh, after you've downloaded and used it from the bot stores uh, 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 please do let me know I'll be happy to help thank you